Hi, welcome to Travel with Austin. I'm Austin. Today we're going to be looking at the Nelsonville Brick Park in Nelsonville, Ohio. So this park is actually the remains of an old brick plant that was built in the 1880s. I believe it stopped um, producing bricks around 1940. And then in 1980, Nelsonville decided to save what was left of it and make it into a park. So what we're looking at here is actually the majority of the park. We have two dr down draft kilns. One appears to have collapsed in at some point, and the other one actually appears to be perfectly fine. Then we have a smoke chimney back here. Um, right here we have a plaque for the park. And then something that I actually didn't notice when I first walked in here is we have a chimney back over there. My understanding is that there were more kilns here and one collapsed in around 2005, and instead of fixing it, they just tore it down. So a few things to note about this park before we actually look at it. It is right next to the road. I've had a few people pull off and watch me for some reason, even though this is a public park. And it is right next to the police station, so don't do anything stupid. So looking at the first kiln, we're gonna look at the collapsed one. As we walk around it, and we get to the front, you can see as it comes in the view that the entrance is blocked off. Um, there is this metal in front of it. The metal looks old. It might actually be part of the original um, kiln and it's blocked off with bricks. If we continue down around this side, So we can see that there's another entrance in the back and this one actually has a gate on it and the gate is open so you could squeeze in here um right now it is actually just completely overgrown just some random bricks in it um there are sticker bushes or nettles here so i will not actually be going in there because i already got myself pricked on those earlier and all it is is overgrown over here we have the chimney and in the back of the chimney, there's actually an area for an old door. And I'll actually show it to you guys. So my guess is this may be a furnace of some sort. And there was a metal door right here for the furnace. But I noticed that over on this side, there are these little windows that are big enough for one to enter through. So we are in it right now, and there is one next door that is very similar. And as you can see, there used to be a door there, but it is blocked off on the other side. So this is one of the chimneys or smokestacks or whatever it is. Um, I'm going to cut right now and then go to the fully functional kiln. So I am here at the kiln that is in more or less good shape. So I'm actually only going to take a brief look inside. I'm not going to go all the way inside because it does appear that there may be a person living in here. So I'm only going to look at it really from the outside and just give you guys a good view of what the inside looks like. So as you can see, it's filled with bricks. Um, over here, it looks like there's some old paint stuff and there's actually an old wheelbarrow. In the back, we have some old barrels. And that's actually really all there is up here. There is a hole in it. Um, it kind of reminds me of the bunkers in West Virginia that have a hole in the top so if they collapse, they collapse inward instead of outward. So next I'm going to walk over to this chimney. I'm going to show you it. And as long as no cars are by, we're actually going to go inside of this chimney. As we walk over here, I believe around here is where the other kiln would have been since this chimney is over here. Um, I know that there were at least three. There could have been more at one point. So as we walk over here, as far as I know, this is actually the end of the park, but I can't be certain. When we walk up 
and we see this giant chimney. And it's actually a pretty good path that people have been walking on for a bit. And if you walk back here, you'll see that there is this entrance. And if you go inside of it, you are inside the chimney. It is kind of cool. I'm not sure how secure it is. I definitely think this is an area the police wouldn't want you to be in. You notice there's some bricks that have up arrows on them, which I think is pretty neat. So that is actually all for today and all for the Nelsonville Brick Park. I may come back here at some other point and show off that uncollapsed kiln and fully go inside of it. But right now with what looks like to be a homeless person living in there, I really don't want to go in there. So if you guys like this video, please like it and subscribe to me for more videos in the future. And thank you guys for watching.